Hello everybody, my name is Peter and this time I would like to model a spark plug. I found this picture on Google Pictures and there are two interesting areas, namely this hexagon nut here and of course <coughs> the threads. So let me start with putting some temporary uh, geometry in just to make sure I know about how wide this should be. By the way, I have uh, selected this background picture in item mode and have resized it to a size which makes sense about from the dimensions. The other thing I did, I went to the shader tree and went to the base material and gave the base material a transparency of 25% so I can see what I'm doing. Now let me go to top view and I select a circle with 18 edges. It must be something which is dividable by, let me see the words, by six, so then let's make it 13.5 and 13.5 here. Go back to perspective, drop the tool, select this not in item mode, in polygon mode, and delete that. I don't need the words anymore, so I get rid of them. First, I will bevel this in, like so. Then shift click, bevel it in a bit more, drop the tool. Then top view again, select an edge here and here up arrow key to select the rest, then hit the R key, green circle and bring this in till it is flat. Mm, maybe that's a bit too little, let me select two polys here, hit the L key, R key again and move these in a bit more, like so. Now we can select these edges again hit the R key and bring them in till they're nice and flat. Drop the tool perspective view. <coughs> I select this polygon now, hit the X key and go to front view to see where we are and bring this down right to here. Drop the tool <coughs> Now I select this edge here and this one here, up arrow key, front view again, hit the R key and then I scale them down to about here, drop the tool. I select these polygons, hit the E key on the green one and now I can turn this round so it fits exactly. Next we have to harden some edges here. I get rid of the grid, it really disturbs me. I need to harden this one, this one, <coughs> pardon me, this one, this one, no, not that one. And then, of course, shift, click this edge, shift, click this edge, release, shift, and up arrow till we have all these edges. Then shift, tap to go to Pixar sub-D mode, vertex map, edge way to 20%. I am already on subdivision level of 3. This is why we get nice round corners but I would like to tighten them a bit more. So Alt-C, 
with a count of 2 and 5% drop the 2. So this is our start. Next I select this polygon, go to the front view and now we start. Mm, this one is already a bit too big so hit the R key bring it in a bit, drop the tool, front view again, hit the B key for bevel, click in the viewport and bevel this out like so, shift click, bevel it out to here, then the red handle so we can bring this in, shift click to reactivate bevel tool, bring this into here, shift click, blue handle, all the way up to the end. Now I make this one here, shift click, then up to here and bring it in. I don't want to be a hundred percent accurate. I just <coughs> eyeball this and the, the picture just should give me an idea about how a spark plug looks like. So we need to put in some edges. We can do this several ways. We can use the add loop or we can use the shift C, the slice command. I will use slice now this time, slice through here. Then you can select the middle mouse button and cut through here, cut through here. With the middle mouse button you can reselect uh, the tool handle without reselecting the tool itself. So it's quite convenient. Cut through here, here, here. There is one more down here. Can sometimes it's a bit dangerous because if you don't check that your slice tool is not really covering the entire area you want, then it just slices through a part of the geometry. So drop the tool. I <coughs> stay in front view, select two polys here, 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 here and here, hit the L key, then go to perspective, hit the R key on the green circle and bring this in. Let's check how this looks, a bit more, not much. like so. Drop the tool. <coughs> Pardon me. Now this part here is all ceramic. So we do not get the same hard edges as we do with the lower part here. So let's uh, do some edge hardening. Alt C. Then I put in edge loops here, 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 not on the sides, it would be too much otherwise. Alt C, maybe not as far out as the others. So how does that look? That looks not so bad. Okay, let's continue on the top here. I select this polygon, side view again, <coughs> hit the R key. No, 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 no.